Hello, Braves, and welcome back. I'm Chase Lanham. And I'm Jacob Bayless. So, Chase, how was your weekend? It was fine. I Hello? What's this? I'm uh, seven for this Mr. Is, Dad. This is so Braves Beat. We're, yeah. we're filming. Yeah, we're filming. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> well, we have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. Congrats to our seven National Merit finalists, Jude Jamison, Rowan Koshian, Sophia Chen, Jessalyn Gunati, Tyler Huang, Chris Ranjan, and Michael Chun. This is a tremendous accomplishment that puts you into an elite class. On Tuesday, February 27th, Indian Hill is having the second district-wide STEM showcase hosted at the new middle school. This K-12 event will feature a variety of projects and activities presented by faculty and students from all four buildings. It will also include some STEM business partners. To dive deeper into this, Gino sat down with Mr. DeBink. Take it away. Hey Braves, today I'm here with Mr. Deming to talk about the upcoming STEM night. So Mr. Deming, what is, what is STEM night? Well, next Tuesday at the middle school from 6 to 7.30 is going to be the second annual district STEM show, showcase. Uh, and it's really an opportunity just to showcase all the amazing things that we're doing as a district from the primary school all the way up to the high school. So what, uh, what kind of things are going to be there? Good question. So it's primarily geared for uh, kindergarten through eighth graders and their families. And it's meant to be an interactive time where we're just showcasing student work fun things that teachers are doing in their classroom, uh, doing STEM design challenges and having maker spaces. So they're gonna be making things, doing design challenges, uh, seeing some amazing student work. So it'll be a good showcase of everything that's happening or a lot of good things that are happening at the district level related to STEM. So is there any reason why uh, high schoolers should go to this event? Yeah, I guess just to see um, all the neat things that your high school teachers are doing, some amazing products that your classmates have made. And it's just, it's meant to be a night of fun interactivity uh, either by yourself or with your family all right sounds like a great time yeah next Tuesday all right thank you for coming on man it's been great having you all right thank you I think we'll send it back to you at the desk thanks mr. DeBink be sure to head down to check out the district's recent stem achievements the annual exploring with grace 5k is coming up soon this event is designed to help underprivileged kids in the community with their mental emotional and physical well-being they're looking for volunteers to help prep race bags help with the race setup and tear down. If you're interested, you can fill out the form in the description. Indian Hill has been awarded a national AASA Jason District certification for STEM. IHSD has became the first district in Ohio to be awarded the certification and one of only six districts nationwide. We'll jump to Aiden and Charlie with this week's sports report. Welcome back sports fans to another exciting broadcast uh, containing the latest updates from Indian Hill Braves Athletics. Right now, let's dive into the action of sports. Girls basketball wrapped up their season with an impressive record of 14 wins and 9 losses in conference play. They dominated with 11 wins and just 3 losses. The season finale was a nail-biter, culminating in a close match that unfortunately did not swing in our favor. It was a heartbreaking 30-31 loss. Despite this, the team still demonstrated uh, great, and I would say amazing determination throughout the season. In bowling news, the team participated in the OHSAA sectional tournament at Roll House Fairfield on February 20th. Stay tuned for updates on their performance. Wrestling fans, we're proud to announce that Indian Hill Braves has secured an impressive third place finish in their recent tournament. Kudos to the team for the hard work and dedication. Shout out to Marisol Mason, Josie Festa, and Jeffrey Wanker for their outstanding performance in swimming and diving, and they are heading to state. They are such talented, they should be so proud that they're representing our high school. Lacrosse, track, baseball, softball, and tennis are all just around the corner. Complete your physicals if you're planning to hit the fields or court this spring. And finally, let's celebrate the success of the boys' basketball team, who clinched a thrilling victory against Marymount High School with a final score of 50-47. to That's all for today's update. We'll send you back to the news desk. Thanks, guys. And good luck to our boys' basketball team as they hunt title glory. There is a new class being offered next year called Signature Seminar. Eli Riggs spoke with Mrs. Burgess and Dr. Given to learn more about this. Roll the clip. Hey Braves, I'm here with Mrs. B and Dr. Given. Uh, why don't you guys tell us why you're here today? Uh, Dr. Given and I are here to talk to all of you about the possibility of taking Signature Seminar next year. 
Signature Seminar is a class that we designed for students to explore passion projects where they can use the design thinking process to learn a new skill, solve a problem, or explore something in more depth they may not be able to during a regular school day. I think my favorite part of this opportunity is it gives students the chance to plan a study of what they are interested in. Sometimes um, school schedules can be kind of hectic and this is a way for kids to be able to zero in and study something that the curriculum hasn't already addressed. And they'll have support to connect with experts and to present to authentic audiences as a part of this work. And as Ms. B mentioned, we'll be focusing on the design thinking process so everybody will get the support they need in order to plan out what they would like to take. And if you don't know yet, that's okay. That's kind of why we're here is to help you think that through and choose something that aligns to your interests and strengths. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about when I taught this in the past is helping students develop their passions and starting with some really interesting questions and exploring them. And I just, I hope that we get a lot of students who are interested in joining us in that process this year. All right, if you guys have any questions, make sure to ask them. Back to you guys at the news desk. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X and Instagram Subscribe to us on YouTube and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy in Inhale. Inhale.